Leadership means to me being a role model for younger people and showing them that there's not only one way to do stuff, but a different way. I want to show younger people that there's more for them out there in the world and that they can do more and that they can do anything that they can put their minds to. Coming from a family that suffers from illiteracy and poverty, I really want to work hard and break the poverty cycle in my family and I really want to make my mom proud. Not only that, I really wanted to have a bright future, to receive a good education and to find a career that I really like. I was adopted at two and a half and I came to America and being an immigrant it can be hard adapting to the U.S. and the new environment. What I learned from my hardships is that you can get through things even when it seems like you can't. You can persevere and you can keep going even if it gets really tough. Back in China, when I went to middle school, my father started abusing my sister, my mother, and I. And to seek safety, my mom and I immigrated to the United States. I didn't know any English speaking skills back in that time. To set up our living in San Francisco is really, really the toughest moment in my life. But as I struggled, as I overcame those hardships, I realized, oh, it's just a piece of cake. I can do that. And I really believe in my potential from after what I have uh, overcame from my hardship. Those are the precious knowledge I learned. So as a child of an immigrant family, uh, I born with a lot of responsibilities because my parents didn't know like anything about the place where they were living. For example, the languages and customs. And also like my parents worked really hard to like give us, give me and my sister a good education. So they were like day and night, so I, I, I needed to like take care of my sister. So that was a big responsibility I did. And I think not everybody would be able to do it. So that's a big challenge I, I, I overcame. I have faced so many obstacles in my life, uh, but the biggest ones are learning English in a small amount of time. Because I come from a country that we only speak Spanish and it's difficult to uh, travel to the United States where everyone speaks English. So I felt myself uh, obligated because I, um, how am I going to communicate if I do not know English? It was really hard for me, but I did it. I want to succeed in life because I come from a low-income family. They supported me, like the money that they work for, they pay for uh, the bills and then for food to me. When I grow up, I really want to like, give back to them. I want to succeed in life because I feel like I've already felt the bad part of life, which is being from that broke poverty background and having a mom that is mentally disabled. I feel like I can take the good that I saw in that still and use that to strive to be better and be in a place that's better for me where I can no longer be poor and show the power of being a black African-American woman. Winning this award would be everything to me. Like, my dream college is Brown University, and I know that it's a lot of money, but, you know, I'm gonna get there. And I'm just, if I win this award, I'll be so grateful. The money will be, specifically for college, like student loans. What are student loans? Bye-bye, like, I want to be debt-free. Like, who, who doesn't want to be debt-free? <laughs> yes, I feel happy, excited. I don't know how to explain all the feeling that I have because I, right now I had the opportunity to attend the school. In my country, I wanted to study, but I didn't have the opportunity because of my country, I need to pay. But here, I have the opportunity to go to school and attend to college. My advice is to, to other people is to stand up for what you believe in, even if you stand alone. If you don't challenge yourself, changes are not going to happen. And um, it's really important to take the initiative to really like go out of your way and fight for the things that you really want because no one else will do it for you and you have to do it for yourself. Remember that we all have the potential to succeed and we all have the opportunity to succeed in life. So if you see another person is struggling, just give them your hand and let's all succeed together. So if someone came to me and told me that they were going through the same issues that I'm going through, I would tell them that they're not alone, that they're still good even when you think that all is bad. 
and I would also tell them that they are strong and that they will get through it and can still be whatever they want to be.